The Xbox Series S has a big problem, but it's still the best value console out there. So why is this? It's simple. Expectations and marketing. Let me explain. When the Xbox Series S launched, nobody was interested in it because reviewers only talked about the Series X, Xbox flagship console. And the reviewers that talked about the Series S were pretty negative about it because the expectations were that this would be an Xbox Series X, just a bit smaller and a bit less powerful. When they tested the Series S though, they were disappointed. I mean, the fact that you could buy the Series S under its launching price of $299, whilst the Series X was $250 over it, does say something. Looking at all the negative incentives towards the Series S got me thinking. I mean, for $300, it does still seem like a steal for a next-gen console. So, I bought it. Now, I've been using it for about two months, and I have to say... The reviewers were kind of right, but also kind of wrong. Oh, if you do enjoy content like this, a sub would be appreciated. We're so close to 100 subs. Using the Xbox Series S, I can confidently say it isn't a smaller Series X. I mean, instead of the 4K 120 FPS we got on the X, we only get 1440p 120 FPS. Instead of the 12 teraflops of power on the X, we only get 4 teraflops. Instead of 1 terabyte of storage, we only get 512 gigabytes. And if you look at the Series S like this, it seems like a huge letdown. But I think you're looking at it the wrong way. The Xbox Series S isn't impressive on its spec sheet, but when you use it, there isn't any major difference compared to the Series X. Well, besides the storage, obviously. Games still loads blazing fast and the graphics are still a big step up compared to the last gen. But Josh, isn't the missing resolution a huge downgrade? No, it isn't. And even playing games on a 77 inch TV with that resolution didn't look off. Just be aware I'm not a big pixel peeper. Something I did notice though, was how smooth 120 hertz is. It really makes a huge difference compared to the 60 hertz on last gen consoles. The only thing I think is a difference are the graphics. Don't get me wrong, the graphics on the Series S are a huge improvement. But the Series X is just that bit crisper. So we've established that for $300, the Series S is a steal for such a next gen console. So why did this whole mess even start? It's because of how Microsoft marketed the Series S. In their marketing material, they say that the Series S uses the same GPU architecture as the X. And that the CPU is the same as on the X. Which both are true, but there is a bigger story to this. That's why it sounds like the Series S is just as powerful as the Series X, which it definitely isn't. The problem was Microsoft focused on the numbers for the Series S. But that isn't its strong point. It's the experience you get out of it. But if you can take the numbers aside, the Series S is a great buy. And I 100% recommend it. It's great. If you want to buy the Xbox Series S, but you want to know a little bit more about the details, go check out this video here. That's been it. Thanks for watching and bye.